Hello everyone, my name is Laurent Kubeski. I'm the product manager for Files Connect and today I'm going to show you how to set up Files Connect for Box. So uh, log into your Salesforce org as an admin, go to the setup tree and uh, make sure that Files Connect is enabled. So to do this, go to the Files Connect node, which is under Salesforce Files, Settings, Files Connect and make sure that Files Connect is enabled. Then you need to assign the uh, Files Connect Cloud user permission to each uh, Files Connect for Box user. So uh, one way to do this is to create a permission set. So in this case, I have already created a permission set called Files Connect, but uh, you can call it uh, as you want. By the way, when you create your permission set, make sure that uh, the user license value is set to none. So I have my uh, permission set. And if I look at the system permissions section, uh, you will see that the files connect cloud user permission has been enabled and also make sure that uh, this permission set is assigned to all your Files Connect for Box users, uh, including the org uh, admin. So in this case, uh, this uh, permission set is assigned to me. All right, then you need to create an auth provider. So go to the auth providers section and uh, I'm going to delete this one and create a new one from scratch. So go to your auth provider section, click on new. In the uh, provider tab drop down, select open ID connect, name, let's use box, URL suffix, let's use box, consumer key and consumer secret. Uh, let's enter some placeholder values for now. So I'm just going to enter foo, foo, and then we have the authorized endpoint URL. Uh, so you, you will find the uh, values to use in the Files Connect setup guide. Uh, so I'm just going to copy and paste the correct values. So this is the authorized endpoint URL, which is uh, https slash slash app.box.com slash api slash oauth2 slash authorize. And then the token endpoint URL, same thing. Just going to copy and paste the correct values, refer to the setup guide. So it's https slash slash app.box.com slash api slash oauth2 slash token. All right, so hit save and then scroll down a little bit and at the bottom of the screen you will get the callback URL. So select this value and copy it to the clipboard. Then you need to create a box app. So to do this switch to box. In this case, I'm already uh, connected to box uh, as uh, an admin and go to app.box.com slash developers slash services and click on create a box application. Uh, so let's call it files connect for box number four and click on create application. Okay, so you can enter the application uh, description. I'm going to use all the built-in values and if you scroll down, you will have the client ID, client secret and redirect URI. And on this field, I'm going to paste the value of the uh, Salesforce auth provider callback URL. So I just paste this value. And then I need to take these two values and paste them on the Salesforce side. So let's do this. I copy this value, go back to Salesforce. I edit my auth provider and I'm going to uh, paste this value as the consumer key. I go back to box. 
I copy this client secret and I'm going to go back to Salesforce and paste it in the consumer secret field. All right, I just hit save and my auth provider is now created. Next step is to create the box external data source. So external data sources, which is under the develop node. Okay, I click on new. And in the type dropdown, I will select files connect box. So external data source box, name box. Identity type, you have uh, two options, per user or name principle. Uh, you should use per user. It means that each uh, Fetch Connect for Box user will have to authenticate against Box uh, to be able to access his own uh, Box documents from Salesforce. Authentication protocol, OAuth 2.0, authentication provider, click on the magnifying glass and select the Box Auth uh, provider that you just created. Okay, and then just hit save and we are going to check that all your settings are correct by redirecting you to box. So if you see this, it's good. Click on grant access to box and you are now back in Salesforce. Uh, that's all you need to do uh, for your Salesforce user to access their box documents. If you also want them to be able to search in box from Salesforce, you can create an external object. So uh, we are going to do this. So click on validate and sync. Click on this checkbox. Click on sync. And this is going to create an external object. Okay, I am back on the external data source page. If I scroll down, I can see my box external object. Let's click on edit and I'm going to uh, change this name because this is what uh, users will see when they search in box from Salesforce. Scroll down and make sure that your external object is deployed. And click on save. Almost done. Go back to your permission set. The files connect one and click on external data source access. Click on edit and make sure that your external data source is enabled. Click on save. Now go back to your permission set and click on object settings. Click on box. Click on edit and make sure that this checkbox is enabled and that you give read access to all the box fields. All right, we are done. Let's uh, check uh, what an end user will see. So I will uh, switch to the files tab and uh, all the uh, Salesforce user who have the uh, permission set assigned to them will see this new external file section with box. And uh, when a user clicks on this for the first time, he will see this. You are accessing box for the first time, click here to link your external account to Salesforce. So they will click there, they will see the screen again. They will click on grant access to box and then they will be redirected back to Salesforce. And from there, they will be able to uh, click on box and access all their box uh, documents. So for example, they will be able to go to a, a chatter group, go to the uh, feed, choose on select a file from Salesforce, click on box, and post a box document in there without duplicating any content because uh, this is actually a file reference. Uh, let's now see how to search in box from Salesforce. So from the uh, global search bar, I will search for specification. I hit search. And uh, this search across all your Salesforce objects and also uh, you will see this box 
uh, external object. So uh, if you don't see it, uh, scroll down in the left menu and it will be displayed uh, some, somewhere there. So uh, once you found it, click on this icon and choose uh, the pin to top option, which will move it on top. And from there, when you search from the Salesforce uh, global search bar, you will see some box results. So these search re results are coming from box and uh, all the uh, native Salesforce search results. And from there, right from the box search results, you can download the file, uh, share it in Salesforce as a file reference or open the file. And when you choose the open action, a new tab opens and uh, you are now in Salesforce. Uh, you can preview the file, edit the file and so on. So uh, this is uh, Files Connect for Box. Thank you very much.